Hey guys, it's Potty for Rustified here with a quick summary of what's coming into Rust this month. We'll start off with some newly added changes to the submarine. A 12 slot storage container has been added to both subs. The storage container is located inside the two person sub and on the outside of the solo sub. Both of these subs armor has also been changed. Bullets will now do much more damage so be cautious around players with fully automatic weapons. There's also been some changes to sonar. It will now only pick up submarines that have their engines on. And finally, there's also been some new limitations to the time you can spend underwater. Subs now have oxygen levels. When you are underwater, you will notice this new UI element start ticking down from 10 minutes every second you are submerged. The indicator lets you know how much oxygen you have left before you have to resurface and replenish your oxygen. If you don't resurface in time, you will end up suffocating. The ability to attack in subs is also shifted. Most notably, the rising torpedo has been completely removed. The direct torpedo has also seen some changes. Torpedoes also won't be as effective against boats as their explosion force has been reduced. Underwater labs have also seen a number of changes. The amount of underwater labs on each map has been cut in half. Only three labs should now spawn on a normal sized map. The team is also making puzzles a little more difficult by removing the spawn for the blue and red cards from the labs. You will also find now that NPCs will now specifically spawn by puzzle rooms. The team has also added in a new smaller moon pool. This smaller moon pool is perfect for people without a sub who are trying to access the labs a little more stealthily. Next up, crawling around in the wounded state has been nerfed. The health of a crawling player has been reduced by 75%, making it much easier to finish off down players. Some other things you'll be noticing. Players can now perform upper body gestures in water. The deployed cassette recorder will now have a decay and numerous world models have been added to the game. Finally, this update is a little bit light, but that doesn't mean that the team isn't hard at work. The team is currently working on multiple other projects as of right now, like the new mission system in Rust. Details on this system are a little sparse as of now, but from what we have gathered, NPCs at Monuments will be giving out in-game missions, and on completion, there will be a reward like items or even blueprints. But as for now, the system is still under development and things could change. This has been a summary of all the significant changes coming into Rust this month. I'm Putty and thanks for watching. If you want to know more about this update or any other update, subscribe to the channel or head on over to Rustify.com. And don't forget to check us out on the Rustified official servers.